that's all we can do each and every day. You know, just get out there, go as hard as you can. Did you get word yet on what the injury is? Yeah, a knee contusion. So he had x-rays, the negative. So that's where it is. I didn't see the play. So I know it's, he, he bumped knees. That's what happened. Uh, did he have to go on MRI? No, they just did x-ray. And every, everything was negative, so. Is that encouraging? I mean, because it looked, at least from we were, that it could be scary the way he was like. Yeah, I think anytime someone goes down like that, you you have concern, you know, so. Uh, but then, you know, he, he felt a little better. He got the x-rays. He was examined by the doctors. And so, you know, that, that news is good. Do you have any idea uh, timetable? I don't. Like, just see where he is tomorrow. Is that is that possible? Like, is Tuesday possible? I guess, you know, I, we got to see. It's a knee contusion, and everything was negative, so we'll see where he is tomorrow. Do you know what changed when, like, he was questionable and then he was ruled out? Did something happen with him different? I, I don't know, so I, w I was unaware. Like, they just told me he was being examined and back. So we wanted to make sure we did the X-ray, so I don't know what transpired. What we were waiting on that, and then we just thought it was best to you know, sit him out the rest of the game because he had been sitting for quite a while. How about the play of Dusan? He ends up going for uh, seven minutes and didn't have a yeah. turnover. And he hit a huge, huge shot for us. Uh, in chasing Garland around, not easy to do. Uh, but we had a, a number of people step up and just play as hard as they possibly could. I thought the way Josh played, the way Dante played, Deuce gave us great minutes filling in. Bogey came off the bench. Isaiah was huge down the stretch. Precious had a number of big plays for us. So it was a, it was a good team win. We had to play. We knew how hard we were going to have to play to have a chance to win the game. And I think our guys did that. I thought the rebounding was terrific. Uh, I thought the unselfishness, guys making plays for each other, uh, 31 assists is, is a big time th number. And then the defense, and, and they're big. You know, so when that ball's up on the board, and then the game changes when they put shooting on the floor. So we have to have a, have to have a, an awareness as to what was going on. And I thought our guys did a really good job with that. How about Josh's ability to just kind of take over in every single part of the game? Yeah, I mean, uh, you could. It's one big play after the next. Whether you want to talk about a loose ball, a hustle play, flying around, a rebound in traffic, a timely shot. You know. Uh, he got the ball moving real, real well for us. Like his penetration and then it, his rim reads were unbelievable, and I think that set the tone for the team. Uh, but it was one big play after another. Throughout the game, we saw those traits of physicality we saw a lot last year and in the previous two matchups. How would you assess, you know, overall your group's performance, you know, given the circumstances losing Jalen? Well, I think that you know, for us, that's how we have to play. When you're shorthanded, your margin of error is really small, so you have to play with great intensity, great concentration on every play. And so uh, that's the one thing I'm proud of. These guys have been, you know, we haven't had our starting front line for a long time. And so now you add in Jalen and then put the guys who, who were in there got the job done. So, and that's why you have a team. And, you know, Deuce was fantastic. You mentioned uh, the, the fight they had was the story of the season. Where, where does that come from? from our players, you know, like it's the makeup of the players. So, uh, you know, I think that that's important. I think uh, Leon and, and his staff have done a good job of identifying those guys, you know, and uh, I love our team. I love how hard they work. I love how they care about winning, how they're willing to sacrifice for each other. I said that that stuff goes a long way. Unrelated to the actual game, but there was you know you followed the whole league. There was there was news in, in Detroit where uh, they they waived Shake Milton, and I was just wondering in your time coaching against Shake Milton, what you thought of him? Well, I think that would be a Leon question. 